Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, Automation Types Explained. In a previous video, we talked about the different modes of automation. This time, we're going to talk about the different types of automation, including Studio One's defaults, and how you can automate some of your own parameters inside an EQ, a delay, really whatever you want. Let's start off with the basics. Let's talk about volume automation, probably the most basic type of automation. I'm going to use my guitar bus here and put it into read mode. Then I can go to my track up top. And if you don't already see this lane, you can hit A on your keyboard. That's the default shortcut to show or hide automation. This blue line represents my volume automation. And we can change that over here. It can be whatever color we want it to be. I'll stick with blue though. To manually enter in automation for the volume, I can go to the line and click. Now I've entered in this bit of information for this track to read. This is telling Studio One to read the automation and notice if there's a change. Let's make a change now by going one bar further, adding in another point and dragging it down. Now essentially what I've created is a fade down over one bar. And that's the basics of volume automation. And you're unlimited on how many points you want to add in to your tracks to get the sound just right. And it doesn't have to be only negative. It can be positive rides as well. If I go to bar 64 and bring it right back up, now I have a positive volume automation written in as well. This node in the center here will actually change the form of that wave. And I can make it more dramatic at the ends, a nice even slope all the way through, or more dramatic at the beginning by going up. So you can alter the curve of your automation with this node here. And that's just volume automation. We can also see pan and mute. Pan automation is changing the audio to go out just the left, just the right, or to create a cool pan effect where it starts in one speaker and moves to the other. To do that, you're going to need a few points. I just click those in. We can take this first point and drag it all the way up. And now our guitars are only on the left. Over one bar, they'll move to the center. But we can take this and have it go all the way to the right. And then the next bar, it'll put everything into the center. So panning automation is moving the sound around in the left-right plane. Mute automation has fewer points of information. It's either on or it's off. It's not variable like pan or volume automation can be. We're going to add in our points here. And let's take this center one here where the mute is off. And we'll turn it on. You can see from bar 63 to 64, it drew a hard line all the way at the top, saying that the mute will be active. If I click there, mute is active. Then when we hit bar 64, it takes the mute off until the next automation point. Like I said, this one's a little more cut and dry. It's either on or it's either off. And those are just the default ones inside Studio One. But maybe what you want to do is something like an EQ filter sweep. I'm going to quickly add an EQ onto this bus. We're going to go a bit extreme and we'll grab something towards the top and boost it way up and make it real tight. Now what we can do is on the frequency band right here, I can right click and edit automation. Then you saw in the background, it changed and said high mid frequency. I can now write automation in. Let's take the same bars and we'll go from 7K down to 400. Let's watch this happen too. That's not the only way to add in your own parameters for automation. Over here, you can click the down arrow and go to Add, Remove. It'll open up this dialog box. 
On the left-hand side, you'll see what is currently available. And on the right-hand side is a list of all the available things you'll be able to write automation for. Following these steps is how you can write any automation, whether it's on a plugin, on a send, or anywhere inside Studio One. That's all for now. If you found anything in this video informative, please like and share it. If you have a question yourself, please leave a comment and we'll work through it together. Thanks for watching.